There's obviously been a lot going on in the market right now that has been affecting the price of SHIB, none more so than what's going on with the SEC. Them coming after Coinbase and Binance has been a big deal. It's left a lot of people with uncertainty. Again, uncertainty is a word that I now hate to use because of it's just got such a huge place in the crypto market as of right now. Now, here's the thing. We may be getting some semblance of good news in just 48 hours. What I'm talking about is that CPI data report. Now, obviously, you guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you're pretty familiar with these at this point. Again, it's always a gauge on inflation, what's happening with the cost of goods and services. And June 13th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are supposed to get the next one. Immediately following that, we're obviously going to have the FOMC meeting. That's going to be concluding the following day, and we're going to find out about the interest rate hike. But that's what SHIB really needs to break out of this, we'll call it funk, that it's in right now. You can see we obviously invalidated the structure that we've had here for quite some time. I, I had hoped that we were going to close above uh, 5076 to, to keep this intact. We could have just considered this a wick then, but it looks like we're settling in for some of these lower price levels here. Now, what you need to know is that if we do go down further, if we're going to continue to push to the downside, this is the key support level here. This is from the summer of 2021, in fact, June of 2021. And you can see this basically 5060 level has been a good range of support. Okay. I say that loosely because we haven't been there in a long, long, long time. Okay. But what you have to remember too is at the same time, there's so many people in red now that they're really not wanting to sell at these levels. Most people are waiting to hold until they get back to their buy in price, which a lot of people remember it's in that 509 to that. 4014 level. That's a big, big chunk, like 200 and was it 230 or 260 trillion SHIB worth in those levels. But this news could be enough to get us back up into this range, could be enough to push us back up to 508. If the market can gain some momentum and start to move back to the upside, BTC back above 27K, maybe a little bit of, of rebound even in some of these, these assets that have been alleged as securities. That would be a very great sign for what's to come. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen at this point. There's a lot of a lot of unknown right now. And Shiba Inu has had some negative stuff for, for quite some time. You know, obviously, we've been dealing with this price pullback basically since the start of February of this year, this long extended, you know, five month period of pullback. And what you have to remember is these times do happen. Some of these times they do suck. These bear markets are never easy. They are never easy by any stretch of the imagination. That is why a lot of people don't make it. They'll fud themselves out of their bags. They won't be able to last. And then those are the same people that are kicking themselves once you get two years down the road deep into a bull market cycle. But we could get some good news, guys. We could get some good news. They are expecting that inflation is, in fact, cooling. They're expecting the Fed to not do any rate hikes. This is very good news. I'm going to say this. I'm going to be tempered in my expectations. I'm not expecting a pump to, you know, four zeros, one zero or anything like that. We just need some sort of semblance of recovery, something to get things moving in the right direction, to reinstill confidence so that people continue to accumulate. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely show your support if you guys haven't already. I hope you have a great Sunday and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.